What is going on, YouTube? PPS back. It is YouTube Player of the Daytime. Only one play today. Very small MLB slate. I probably won't even have more than five, six total today um, for my full card. So pretty small, but I do have one play I do want to talk to you guys about today. Um, and yeah, we'll get right on into it. So uh, yesterday I had passed the prop, did not have a YouTube Player of the Day. Um, we ended up going 1-0-1 with the Cardinals getting exactly seven. And we ended up cashing our Spencer Strider play. So um, that was what we posted yesterday. Hopefully you guys are following along with those because I think we're at eight straight profitable shows now. So um, very excited to keep that winning streak alive yesterday. Um, and yeah, let's get right into today's action. Um, we are heading into um, a smaller state, like I said, but I'll be heading to um, the Toronto Blue Jays and the Cincinnati Reds. Since he plays at home, um, they have Mr. Nick Lodolo on the hill. Uh, we need him to get seven strikeouts in this one. He is top uh, top 10% in whiff rate um, and K percentage, pretty much up and down the board and what we are looking at for strikeouts. Um, we're going to be seeing Nick Lodolo there at the top. Um, a nine strikeout game against Pittsburgh, a 12 strikeout game already in Philly. Um, and really, they were not even close, right? He went seven innings in that game. He's not a guy who usually goes very deep in the games, but – he went very deep in that one. Obviously, we're getting the leash a little bit longer here. Um, obviously, don't love the park going back home to Cincy. Um, but we did see him throw already there, um, giving up a little bit of power to Pittsburgh. Um, but still got nine strikeouts in that game. Uh, tons of swings and misses here. You got Schwarber from the left side. Should give us a lot of swing and miss. Um, obviously, you have uh, um, Real Muto, who started out the season very, very slow. Castellanos as well. And then the bottom of the order, Alec Bohm. Definitely going to have openings uh, for swings and misses there. Um, and then going over to Bo Bichette here, um, Spencer Turnbull has been um, terrible on the road. Two and a third inning in his first outing. Gave up seven runs, um, three walks, uh, eight hits. Not not great. Um, and he's going into Toronto here where Bo Bichette absolutely rakes. Um, if you go for his career, um, he's been very, very good in Toronto. So far this year, he's batting 343 against right-handed pitching. Um, and obviously, I, we're not looking at much uh, here in terms of, of stuff that's going to get a lot of swings and misses, right? If we look at Spencer Turnbull's um, specific stuff that he's going to be throwing, um, not seeing anything over 30% whiff rate, which is concerning in a matchup with the Blue Jays um, in Rogers Center. Um, just to go in a little bit more on, on uh, the numbers here for Bichette, he has a 282 batting average last season. Um, against righties, he batted 295 uh, for the full year, which is very, very good, better than he was against lefties, actually. Um, 19 of his 24 homers were against righties. Um, and then at home versus righties, 290 um, batting average there. So um, really tough uh, to see Spencer Turnbull have success here um, in a matchup with this um, Toronto team. Um, Bassett on the mound, not a huge fan, so I'm not going to be um, too much invested on the Blue Jays overall. But I do really like Bo Bichette, um, and I like Lodolo at seven strikeouts there. Lodolo's seven strikeouts is around minus 190. Again, I'll tell you guys this, I do not play juice that high. I won't even go above 130 um, for plays here, but this is what we're looking at. Minus 370 on Bichette, minus 194 there, minus 109 now. So um, it was minus 190 down to minus 194. Um, and I expect that to keep moving towards us there um, as Lodolo has been absolutely, absolutely lights out um, so far this season. Um, just a tad more on Lodolo before I let you guys leave today. Um, so far this year, 33% whiff rate on his fast. On the um, very tough um, guy to figure out, right? We have a ball moving in on your hands with that curveball, more of a slur action. Changing the force, um, going to be a tough, tough ask for Philly to put the ball in play against this absolute up and coming stud here in Nick Lodolo. Um, and I expect him to continue to uh, to get these swings and misses. Also, really like that he has that fifty percent ground ball rate so far in the start of this year. Um, in Great American Small Park, it's tough to to be a fly ball guy and be successful there. So, Lodolo seven strikeouts. Bobachet to record a hit at minus 106 and minus 109 right now over on FanDuel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow um, and hopefully getting another winner for you guys tonight. So have a good one, guys, and best of luck tonight.